Thank you. Is there a middle ground on House Bill 2? That's the question. A new group that's being formed will take a look at and whether there are any compromises that can be reached. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with more on who will be a part of the group. Bo? Sean, right now, former state leaders from both parties are signing up to be a part of the group, but some say they want to make sure that all parties impacted by House Bill 2 have a seat at the table. I think it's imperative that if you're going to have any discussion, that you have representatives of the transgender community and other members of the LGBT community. Candace Cox is a transgender woman who has been to the General Assembly many times since House Bill 2 passed, calling for repeal. She's curious to know more about the working group that would look at possibly recommending changes to HB 2. I think it's, it's a good idea when we're talking about something that is a very sensitive topic, such as transgender people, to sit down including the opposition to educate them on who transgender people are. Former state budget director Art Pope, a Republican, and former Lieutenant Governor Dennis Wicker, a Democrat, are organizing a working group that would have that discussion, bringing together representatives from various sides of the HB2 debate. From what I hear of the makeup of the group, I don't really see this as kind of an understanding type discussion. This is kind of bringing people in with a very entrenched points of view and seeing if there is a middle ground here. Republican State Senator Ralph Heiss doesn't believe a middle ground is necessary. We have a good law in place right now and we see no need to make any changes. Cox disagrees. She'd like to see the various stakeholders talk in person. We've all met with cameras and we've all had an opportunity to make our argument. It would at least be good to sit together to see are we actually talking about the same issue. Former Republican Governor Jim Martin would also be part of the group. It would be privately funded. They're looking to have about 16 members and hope to start meeting sometime in June. Live in Raleigh, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina.